think somebody's hungry staring me down because I got her green in my hand. And our little Mr. Buffalo looking like more of a normal calf than that funky head he had. Huh, Buffalo? Huh, buddy? Yeah. I was slow at getting the camera out. He was on the other side of 241, standing a little closer, wanting to say good morning. And he's already had a little breakfast. Her calf, though, is still chilling down there. Yeah, I haven't seen any new babies this morning. Get some feeding done and, and find out if there's anything at the feed barn. I doubt there is. Oh, good morning, Whiskey. Watched Whiskey in the cameras last night, going through the two-year-olds looking for calf poop. While Red was in this pen, and these ladies were bedded down the other side of her, down the lower part of the pen. And they just left him alone. Didn't you, 617? Huh? Yeah, I know what you guys want, and I have it very rare that I have something a female wants, right? But little Mr. Buffalo. Hi, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey. Good morning. Oh, good morning. It ain't showing up on the camera. There it is a little bit. It just slowed down. It's been kind of noisy in the shop. Mm, looks like it's turning more to rain. It was snowing pretty good about the last half hour. Can you tell? Can you tell? If it was sticking, there'd probably be about three or four inches as hard as it was going. So, I got most of the water hooked up because we're not supposed to get that cold now for this next week. We're just supposed to be just below freezing, so it'll probably be all right. Cow trough is not yet because the hose to the floats has got a big chunk of ice in it. And yeah, it's not good if you let that chunk of ice go through. It tends to plug the floats up. But yeah. Wind blowing too, in case you can't tell. Feels just peachy. Yes, the shop is still a pigsty. So many things that don't need to be laying here. Mm, probably should fix that horseshoe cross. It's one the girls put together quite a few years ago now, in memory of two of the dogs that we had that we had to put down together. <coughs> Brooke wanted it painted. If we still had the neighbors, it would be on a post out where they're buried in a sinkhole. B and W hitch for an 05 Chevy. Brooke bought that, never got it in yet. It's been bouncing around in here and it's yeah. Incidentally, the old bumper off my pickup going to fit on there along with the hardware for it so she'll have everything so she can put that on the front of hers if she so chooses which I think she's stupid not to do it but that's my opinion and yeah of course uh, rear heater car for a 07 Tahoe oh and wait I think I found the issue here I'm, I'm kind of thinking I did um I haven't checked anything yet. I just took it off, but I'm going to guess that this, this piece is probably a thermostat. I'm going to guess that's the hot wire coming in. So this would be the hot wire to the heating element. Thermostatically controlled. And I'm going to guess that this one here, especially since it appears to be to this, which that just holds the cap on. I took this apart here and I didn't need to. I didn't realize I thought the cap was part of this until I got the screws out. I didn't want to come apart there, but the cap wiggled. But if we look here, 
If we look inside, maybe I need to grab a light. We'll grab a light. I like this little bugger. But look, you're right there. That is not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be right there. Which would be your neutral, aka the ground side, of the heating element. So I'm thinking I can fix this. I mean, it could be that fried off because the element itself is toast. I don't know yet. I'm going to see if I can figure it out. There you go. Dino sitting. Seems like bulls are good at that once in a while. And yeah, bam, bam, just chilling. Rainy up there looking to see what she can find in the hay pile. And the steers just relaxing. Get their water filled up and go back to the shop. Probably not going to hook this boat up over here for now. Because they're talking 24 degrees Wednesday morning. Doesn't take too long to fill this one. It's not like the others. And yeah, snow's disappearing. It keeps snowing. It just won't accumulate anymore. So, yep, the muddy mess. There you go, Nelson. It's out. That's because the shop's pretty much empty. Oh, well. And uh, now it's raining. I plan on doing this between showers. That didn't happen. I and Becky went to town for a couple hours, and yeah, I can do it by myself, but it was raining then. Then when it was nice, I was eating lunch. Trying to find some other feed. We used to get some pellets from an outfit in Philomath, grass seed and red clover seed mixed pellets. Pretty good stuff. And uh, there have been some ads thought it was the same outfit I haven't got any return well I got a return text from the one number that I called twice and texted once and uh, that's been a week and a half ago I haven't heard anything back so went through one of dad's many phone books that he had the other night and found the number for the guy that he was dealing with and called him had a nice hour, hour and a half long chat with him. Seems about four years ago him and his partner split up and his partner took all the contracts for all the grass seed and clover seed with him, so it's not him peddling it up here now. He's still peddling feed, but he's bringing it in. He says, I got everything here to do it with, but he says, I'm old enough. It, it ain't worth me buying for the price you got to buy it for and then bring it in and have to process everything. I just buy it this way and make a few dollars per tote bag. So I'm good with that. So I can go down there to get it, but we only got enough cash to buy like two tote bags at the moment. And uh, well, down there to get it and back, it's a little better than a half a day run. Ain't hardly worth it running a truck down there for two. And if I can get these others from his ex partner. Course grows 20 minutes away, 25 minutes tops. So, I don't know what we're going to do there yet. And I haven't touched that little heater again yet. I haven't had a chance to. So, I, I'm kind of hoping maybe the element's all right and I can just put the wire back together and be all right. But we'll find out when I put the wire back together and plug it in. It's either going to go pop or it's going to get hot, one or the other. Well, there's what it looks like all the way apart. I went ahead and took it out because I put a couple jump wires on it to check. And you know, that's a dead ground anyway, dead short. So it's like, okay, there's spark, but then, hmm, the cord's not heating up, so let's see what happens. And I pulled it to make sure, and sometimes if these are bad, you'll find a bump on them or a spot that looks suspicious. And this all looks great. I mean, it really does. Oh, a little Vaseline on the O-ring when it goes back together. Smear it a little bit on the housing. Give it a little 
Yeah, it's going to need both hands, I guess, but pop that back in, put the bolts on. Uh, what did I do with it? Down here. The cap's laying somewhere. The cord's there, anyway. Um, I'm going to shorten the cord and reset it. About the easiest thing to do. Here's what's left of the female spade connector. It had uh, literally fused on there. So I think it was just old age. And we should be good to go. Yeah, I got a mess. I also got that. Just to make sure it didn't burn shit up. It's full of water. This is short cord because God knows it didn't need that freaking eight foot long cord. And about the safest way I can do this, it's plugged into there. So I just gotta reach over and plug it in here. And if I'm right, water will start boiling. If I'm wrong, something's gonna go bzzz. I would venture to guess, and you can hear it. I'm trying to hold it close so you can hear it. But yep. That's the sound that girl is supposed to make. And no, I'm not going to touch anything with my bare hands yet. Just because. Shouldn't be anything like it. Should be a ground to it. Okay, it didn't fry me. Boiling it out. So, I'm gonna say it works. Just need a wire hooked up. It's okay, now I got an extra. Maybe that'll get put on a truck or something else.